Hello everyone once again, this is the Professor, and I'm going to record my Q&A special. You made all the questions and now I'm going to answer them, and by God was I surprised to see the response I got on this. 44 comments with approximately, well actually an average of 4 questions each. This is well over, I believe, or at least close to 100 questions, and man, that is surprising. So, it was my decision to let you guys have a maximum of five, because I did not pers or see that I would get this many comments or this many responses. I did not expect this large of a response. So, hopefully this won't take too very long. But all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? The first set of questions comes from the Heartless09. And his first question is, what do you call yourself, the professor? Well, Heartless... You answered your own question in your question. You asked me, what do I call myself? And then you said the professor. So you obviously know what I call myself, which means this question was completely and totally unnecessary. <laughs> question number two from the Heartless is your plans for the future. If you're talking about plans for my channel, um, I, I plan to continue doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Commentaries, let's plays, if I have the time to do them. Reviews, if I have the time to do them. Top 10 list, if I have the time to do them, etc. Obviously, you can tell everything relies on the time to do them. But that is my plans for my channel in the future. Now, if you're just talking about overall, my plans for the future involve flying cars, laser cannons, and a harem. Question number three. And this one is obviously, he's asking this for Medusa. And the question is, how was the sex last night? Well, Medusa darling, just looking at yourself, you should already know the answer to that. The sex was fantastic. And the next set of questions comes from one Ramza Ruglia Belove, and this has five questions. The first one is, who is the dumbest and the jerkiest between these two, Chris Chan or Guptil89? I would have to say Chris Chan. While they're both equally stupid and both of them just downright ignorant, Chris Chan is living off of his dad, who seems to have one foot in the grave, and he's wasting his dad's social security and his welfare checks. So that alone, and the fact that I actually have morals, I'm going to have to say Chris Chan is the jerkiest and the dumbest of the two. Second question. If you're going to have a legendary and mythical artifact at your disposal, what would it be and how would you use it? Well, if you will allow me to kind of bend reality here, I'm going to go with a TARDIS. It's a mythical artifact. Come on, it's the mythology of Doctor Who. I want a TARDIS so I can go through time. Main reason? Knowledge. Lots and lots of knowledge. I want to know things that happened in the past. I want to be able to answer questions that have yet to be answered because we have no way to truly answer them. That's what I would want to do if I had, say, a TARDIS, which would be a mythical item in the mythos of the Doctor Who. Question number three. Will you do a game to anime adaptation review, and maybe some personal insights regarding the topic. Now, what I intend to do actually is going to be a top 10 video games to anime adaptations. So that's kind of the same thing, not really as much. It's a higher level review on each item, but you will get some of the personal insights to my thoughts on that topic by watching said top 10 list. Now, hopefully I can be able to get this done within the next few days, although that's going to be very trying to do so. But I am going to get that done eventually. I promise you I will get that one done. Question number four. How are you going to spend the upcoming holiday season? Uh, probably about the same as everybody else. Sitting around wishing I didn't have to deal with all these people wishing to kill myself. No, not really. Um, I'm going to spend my time hanging around my family for the most part. That's what it's going to be. And other than that... I'm um, just going to try to take it as easy as humanly possible, because when I get some free time off of work, I intend to enjoy myself and relax. Question number five. If you were going to be a video game character, who would you be? Um, kind of an interesting question to answer, because there's a lot of cool characters out there for video games, such as Solid Snake. Um, there's also characters like Laharo from Disgaea, so on and so forth. It's kind of a hard question to answer, because... Um, that's saying I want to be another person, and to myself, there's no reason to be another person, you know, going by my philosophies and everything. Um, but I guess, other than the aging process, I'd have to say someone like Solid Snake due to his badassery levels. Or you could say someone like maybe Leisure Suit Larry for the sole fact that he's always getting laid, despite how ugly he is. 
Next set of question comes from Dragon Core 7. And they had three questions for me. The first question is, if you can make a video game, what type of game will it be and what will the story be about? Um, very simple. RPG. My favorite genre of video games. As for the storyline, there's really not much variety to the RPGs anymore. They're all pretty much cookie cutter, they're pretty much cliche, and they're pretty much about the same as each other. So, the story wouldn't be anything dramatic, and to tell you the truth, I haven't ever really thought about this kind of thing. If I ever made my own video game, I never really thought about it. So, I don't, I don't really know how to answer that one. I don't really have a good answer for what the story of a video game I made would be about. Number two is, any favorite games? Why, yes, there's quite a few favorite games that I have, such as the Shimigami Tensai series, um, there's Castlevania series, there's Metal Gear series, there's Final Fantasy, there's Dragon Age, there's Fallout, there's the Elder Scrolls, so on and so forth. As you can tell, every last one of those were... No, not every last one of them were... Okay, never mind. But, yeah, that's some of my favorite games series that are out there. Um, I do enjoy every last one of them. There's tons of games that I enjoy, and I really just love to death. Question number three. How can I be an awesome YouTuber like you, Professor XD? Um, easy answer. So loud. <laughs> um, start harassing people, you know. Stalk them. Be a bully. That kind of thing. You know, gotta go be a troll. You know, the kind of things that people have been claiming that I am. Um, no, not really. Um, I actually... This is kind of a bigger subject that would actually take a full rant video to go over what I thought a good YouTuber is, but I can give you two items, at least, a very brief overview on two items. The first item would be your subscribers, and that's subscriber count. Your subscriber count doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. It's just an arbitrary number. Now, mind you, that doesn't mean you need to ignore your subscribers, because, like me, I don't care about that subscriber number. I would still make videos either way. I do appreciate all my subscribers. I appreciate every last one of you guys. Because even if me myself saying it's an arbitrary number, I do enjoy knowing that there are people out there who like my videos and like what I do. Um, the second part of it is make sure you're doing something you enjoy to do, not something someone else wants you to do. Make sure your videos that you make are something you like, you love, you have an interest in, you have the passion for. If you don't care about anime, don't make videos about anime, just to be popular. Go do something that you actually enjoy to do. The next set of questions comes from Xbox Live GB11, and they sent me five questions. The first one is, what is your favorite movie of all time? Um, favorite movie of all time is a hard one to pinpoint. It really is. There's a lot of movies that I love, such as The Last Samurai, there's a lot of movies like the new Batman series. Um, the original Tim Burton Batman movies, uh, Citizen Kane, if I'm going to be a stereotypical and cliched movie buff, uh, there's just a lot of them out there. So, I can't really just say straight up overall favorite movie, but I can give you my favorite nostalgic movie. My favorite nostalgic movie would have to be Land Before Time. When I was a kid, I was a huge dinosaur buff. That was my thing. I loved dinosaurs, everything about dinosaurs. I wanted everything dinosaurs in my house. And The Land Before Time was a movie I watched every day if I was given the opportunity. And even to this day, watching it with my son, it's a movie that is very enjoyable, not only for children, but for adults as well. And it just stands that test of time. Just more evidence to the time when Don Bluth was still good at making movies. Next question is... Are you looking forward to do a Let's Play of Batman Arkham City? Um, <clears throat> I do have Arkham City. My friend Cody, also better known as Kaiba6978 here on YouTube, bought it for me, and he bought it for my birthday a month before my birthday. He uh, gave one stipulation, though, when he bought it, and that was that I had to do a Let's Play of it if he was going to buy it for my birthday and give it to me. So, yes, there will be a Let's Play of Arkham City coming out eventually. I've got a little bit more I need to play through on it, figuring out all the different Riddler trophies and everything. There's like 400 collectibles you got to find in this game. And if I'm going to do a 100% completion Let's Play, i got to figure all that stuff out, and I don't want to be doing 400 collectible items blind. Um, next question. What is your worst commentator? 
Um, I assume that was supposed to be who was your worst or who was the worst commentator. Um, originally you would probably expect me to say someone like Joshua eighty four twenty eight or Serious Hedgehog Co or someone of that sort. But Joshua is irrelevant. Sirius doesn't seem to do commentaries at the moment, even though he told Jen he's going to do more commentaries. Uh, people like Fox Trent, Dalton Lima don't do commentaries, despite the fact that he's coming back in January. Um, at this exact moment, right now, I would have to say Flippy Invader 782 is quite possibly, in my personal opinion, one of the worst commentators out there. And to tell you the truth, he seems like... Uh, Sirius Hedgehog Co.'s twin brother. They're exactly the same. They do the exact same BS. They record stuff with their camera. They don't make any intelligent points. They don't make any good jokes. They make a hell of a lot of pointless comments. They... Well, actually, Flippy Invader does more media clips than Sirius did. So, they're pretty much exactly the same. They're identical. They're carbon copies of each other. And that's just horrible. And, yeah, so, in my personal opinion, right now, uh, Flippy Invader is the worst commentator out there, in my personal opinion. Question number four. Do you think I'm underrated on YouTube? Um, I've looked at some of your videos, and you haven't really done that much, but what I've looked at, I'm really not that big into them, to tell you the truth. I'm not trying to be mean. Um... I can tell that you're a good comment, or not a good commentator, but a good YouTuber for the sole fact that you seem to be doing stuff that you enjoy to do, and you're doing it for yourself. So to that, I say you're a good or a good YouTuber, and because that is one of the qualifications I think a YouTuber needs to have if they want to be good at it, and that's doing what you like to do. So to that, I say you're a good one. Um, as for underrated. Like I said, I don't know most of what I saw on your channel. It's not the kind of videos I get into, so I can't really say whether you're underrated or not. Um, but I can tell you that, in my personal opinion, you're good. <laughs> um, number five, what do you think of me on Skype? I've talked to you a few times on Skype, and from my brief experiences with you, you're a pretty cool guy. I like you on Skype. I enjoy talking to you. Uh, had a few good convos with you. You're not someone who irritates me on Skype, I can tell you that. There are those out there, and you're not one of them. Next set of questions comes from Havocy91, also known as the Templar Gamer for anyone who doesn't know. Question number one is, is Joshua8429, or whatever his username is, a secretly your torture pet? <clears throat> um, actually, Havocy Templar, no, he's not. He's not my torture pet. Uh, the Joshua Saga was just meant to be a joke originally, the first video. I wasn't taking it serious. Uh, I'm still not taking it serious. It was just meant to make fun of Joshua for how stupid that video was. And then Danny got on Twitter and was like, Oh my god, are you going to do more of those? And I'm just like, I guess I can if you would like. So now I'm doing the rest of the Joshua Saga. And like I said, they're just for fun. They're not serious. I could care. I couldn't care less about Joshua. I really couldn't. Uh, he can go fall off a cliff, and I wouldn't care. I wouldn't bat an eye. So, um, no, he's not really a torture pet of mine. Question number two. What are your thoughts on Retro Gamer 3 losing his partnership? Yeah, that's about my reaction right there. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe this will be a message to some of these partners, such as Jay Friedan and the others who flag people and don't take criticism and get all booty in the booty about things. Maybe they'll take this as a hint saying they're not untouchable, they're not invulnerable. But I just wish we can get the rest of some of these assholes off the internet. Or, well, not off the internet, but off of YouTube, so as maybe it'd be a somewhat better place. And just so they can be replaced with more idiots. Question number three. What games are you looking forward towards? <clears throat> I would assume that's, um, what games are you looking forward to? But I would have to say things like Skyrim. Definitely looking forward to that. Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword. Definitely looking forward to that one. Um, if I can get a PS Vita, there's a Persona 4 fighting game and Persona 4 Portable coming out for it. Mind you, I have Persona 4 for my PlayStation 2, so it's really not that big of a deal if I get it or not, but the fighting game will be fun. 
Um, I haven't really been keeping that much of a track on the new games that are coming out, other than things like Skyrim and Skyward Sword. So those would be probably the two biggest ones I'm looking forward to. Question number four. What do you think of the Persona series? Well, if you can't tell by my previous statement, I love the Persona series. I've played all of the Personas. And, uh, I've played pretty much every one of the Shin Megami Tensai's to come out. And I love the series to death. Great, 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 great RPGs. I love the psychology they use in them, the philosophy, the mythology, everything else that they put into those games. Um, they're very intelligent games. They're very well made. It's not your typical RPG where it's just a random group of kids saving the world. It's more, as you would know if you've played them, which I'm sure you have if you're asking this question, um, social life as well. You're living the life of a teenage kid and then play this Personas. And it's a fantastic setup and the way they set it up and the way they did it. The system, I, as far as I'm concerned, is pretty much flawless. And I do love the Persona series. Question number five. Will you ever be asking for a guest commentary video on the Joshua 8429's commentaries on Roshutsu's, Four Swords, Manga, Retrospective? Um, actually, more than likely, yes. I have a feeling after one or two more of these videos, I'm going to be running out of ideas of what to do in them. So I will end up, if Danny puts up any more of the retrospectives and then Joshua decides to be an idiot and commentate on those as well, I will more than likely eventually be asking for help with them to finish off the series. Um, that, and I think it'll be kind of fun to do some of the co-ops on these videos. I think that would be kind of fun to do. And just getting another person's perspective and another person's ideas and words there could help increase the quality and keep them where they're not getting old. <laughs>